What is violence? Violence is the intentional use of force or power against a person, group, or community. It can affect anyone, whether you're male or female, young or old, rich or poor, single or partner. It can be physical, sexual, or psychological. Neglect of a child, an older or vulnerable person, is also a form of violence. Violence is widespread. In the WHO Western Pacific region, about 99 people are murdered every day. Within a year, one in every two children will experience some form of violence. One in three women are subjected to physical or sexual violence or both from an intimate partner at some point in their life. Violence can be devastating. It can result in physical injuries and mental health problems. Survivors of violence are more likely to smoke, drink alcohol excessively, and abuse drugs. They are also at a higher risk of sexually transmitted infections, adolescent or unintended pregnancy. Some violence and the consequences of it are visible. Much more is hidden. Most survivors never tell anyone about the violence they experience, and even fewer get the physical and psychological care they need. No one thing causes violence. Factors that can make a person more or less likely to commit or experience violence include their history, their relationships, their community, their culture, their economic and social situations. Violent behavior is also learned. Survivors are more likely to behave violently to others or experience other forms of violence themselves. For example, children who experience or witness violence are more likely to commit or experience violence in the future. But violence is not just an individual behavior. It's a societal problem. It's more common among communities in poverty and societies that accept violence as a way to resolve conflict, where men dominate over women and where parents' rights are valued above the well-being of children. We can break the cycles and stop violence. When people affected by violence are identified and supported, when we foster safe and nurturing relationships between parents and children, elders and caregivers, when we equip young people with the skills to succeed in life, when we restrict access to weapons and alcohol, when power is not used to threaten others, when we change harmful social and gender attitudes, and when all people are equal and we uphold human rights. Violence is preventable, not inevitable.